Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Write With Me at IELTS Juice. We have an essay, and the rubric is going to appear over here that says, In spite of the advances made in agriculture, many people around the world still go hungry. Unfortunately, that is a fact. Un Unfortunately, yes, we have made huge um, breakthroughs in agriculture, um, in genetically modified fruits, vegetables, variety of them, in uh, meat, and uh, we are more efficient. We try to minimize our carbon footprint. Yes, but unfortunately, many people still go hungry. Many people still suffer famine. Uh, they are not fed very well. They do not have access to nutritious food items. We are going to unfortunately talk about this, but the good news is we are going to plan for our essay. We are going to exercise our power of English here. The question, the first question actually says, why is this the case? Very, very good question. I would like to come up with reasons for that. And we can talk on and on about why this is an issue. Is it because of the price? Is it because of the, the distribution network? Is it because of corruption? Is it because of greedy people in between too many middlemen? Is it because it, uh, the, the standard uh, in food quality has increased and it hasn't increased uh, like uh, in a unified way for everyone, evenly for everyone? There are multiple reasons for that. And the second one, what can be done about this problem? Okay, what can you do about the price? Maybe you need to subsidize it. What can you do about uh, the distribution network? You need to uh, create agreements. You need to uh, remove tariffs. Uh, you need to have an open border policy. Uh, what about corruption? you need to have international monitoring uh, system on you. You need to have transparency in place. You need to change regulations, law. You need to fund uh, your, uh, I, I don't know, judiciary system or the police department to go uh, after these uh, criminals. All sorts of problems for all of these issues. Now, I already gave you a ton of ideas, so let's jump right in. I always love to start my essays with an attention grabber. And uh, you can go with some statistics. You can say that uh, although we have made uh, many, many uh, discoveries or uh, covered a lot of uh, steps towards a better and nutritious uh, you know diet for our citizens for the people on the planet there are still more than a billion people who uh, suffer from one sort or more than one type of diet related problems either they go hungry or they do not receive enough food uh, on their table or according to the diet or according to uh, uh, UN uh, health organization. Uh, un unfortunately, many of these people do not consume nutritious foodstuffs. You can start by one of these sentences, something that penetrates your reader's soul and it says, why, what, why are you, uh, you, you just enjoy your coffee every morning. Did you know that there are people who may have only one meal every two days? 
and that's that's shocking it it freezes your cup in your hand and you and it makes you think that oh my god really and then uh, there is this connecting info so for connecting info i would like you to say that there are there are reasons for this the 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 reasons behind this you need to mention you please mention that these are the main reasons in your opinion the reasons can be uh, a lot they may vary uh, from country to country and i would like you to make sure you say that i in my opinion this and this or this and this and this are the main contributors to this sad unfortunate phenomenon and you say the three of them here and on the thesis statement i would like you to say your opinion on the solutions so you can say however that's not all bad and gloomy there is or there are solutions for the uh, for the problem mentioned or for the causes of this problem that i just mentioned now depending on the problems or the reasons because we have two questions automatically i put two paragraphs and i'm going to devote one paragraph to each question that is logical and that's the minimal approach you can of course add one more paragraph if uh, you want to talk about two reasons you can say one and you can add one paragraph over here and this paragraph is going to be let me give you one example i of course need topic sentences and you are going to say yes the underlying reasons why we have this unfortunate phenomenon are these two reasons this is the first reason this is the second reason you can basically talk about the reasons if you have a lot of information about the reasons categorize them into two and mention why they're they're like this and in the remaining paragraph you can talk about the solutions for that there you go this is one way to do that expand the first question in two paragraphs and devote one paragraph for the solutions or if you have better control in your grammar and vocabulary specifically vocabulary in the solution part then we can reverse it we can put two reasons in one paragraph and introduce another paragraph over here and this time we devote two paragraphs to two solutions so in one relatively in uh, moderate in size paragraph we mention the reasons and in the other following paragraphs we focus on the solutions and we, we are doing this let me remind you because we have better range of vocabulary for these two we can talk about solutions more we uh, when we brainstorm yeah, on, on our draft we can see that oh my god we have a lot of examples that we can say so there is more room for me to talk about the solutions uh i don't want you to devote two paragraphs to the problem and two uh, to, to the reasons of the problem and two paragraphs to the solutions because i don't think it's practical uh, and it doesn't necessarily add any extra information so more is not always merrier here more is not good more may even reveal more of our errors so i i am suggesting here a controlled version on how you can address your elements you already might ask uh, and even in the comment section you might say hey Castro." Uh, why don't we just do this no extra paragraph and we just you know cover everything in one place I, I would say fair 
you can do that as well. No problem. You can have one single structure, large body paragraphs. Just make sure you will meet 250 word limits. In that case, maybe three sentences for each solution. One sentence to introduce, another to develop, and then and the last one just as an example, or uh, throw in some details, like uh, the university surveys, or references, things that you can, you know, you just know. You don't have to be a, you don't need to give citations, by the way, because you don't have access to any citation. At the meet, at the, at the exam, you are not allowed to uh, communicate with the outer world. So no citation, nobody asks you, you don't have to write any citations. You can very vaguely address uh, something like in uh, one of the publications from this university uh, around uh, five years ago, uh, we received some information about hunger. You know, some, some references like that would be acceptable. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, paraphrase my thesis statement. This by itself would be enough because I need two sentences. One to just say and uh, say the labels. Like there are, uh, in my opinion, there are at least two reasons behind this phenomenon, this unfortunate um, uh, event or phenomenon uh, that we have in this world right now and uh, I believe the solutions should be this and that and uh, that would be a second sentence but if you want to come up with a third sentence or you want to merge these two into one complex uh, sentence just to show off your grammar uh, and then come up with another sentence here as always, this is available uh, at your fingertips. You can come up with uh, uh, other suggestions like a s dedicated body in the UN to monitor uh, these issues. A separate entity from uh, people of, uh, of different backgrounds to address this uh, this problem and come up with uh, solutions or to monitor uh, events or you can say we need a fundraiser we need uh, charities major charity organizations to collaborate or we need governments to intervene or we need better regulations something generic that would help us understand the whole structure and we still remain in the framework. It, it doesn't give any new information. It doesn't say anything uh, new that's uh, challenging for the reader to understand. Yet it says or it acknowledges that this is an open-ended debate. Uh, and in, a sh in 40 minutes under exam conditions and in two paragraphs, nobody can... Uh, explain all the details in full so that's why uh, there is still more to talk about uh, but I selected only the, the top most important elements and the solutions uh, for that okay if you wish to see a sample on this essay done and improved you can click over here if you wish to see other videos similar to this where we plan for essays, letters, or reports, click over here. And please remember that I'm always asking you to eat healthy.